Hello everyone, this is Ajma from RC Corner. Today we are going to talk about the best drone solutions for DJI for aerial survey. So if you are looking or struggling or confused about what drone solution best for you for your aerial surveying requirement, let me help you with this video. So from DJI we recommend three main drone uh, categories. First one is Matrix 350 RTK. Matrix 30 series and Mavic 3 Enterprise. First, I will talk about the what's in front of me, Mavic 3 Enterprise. Mavic 3 Enterprise, as you can see, it's very lightweight, it's very portable and very affordable, and you can fold it too. Which means you can carry it anywhere. It will fit in your backpack, and at the same time, with this Mavic 3 Enterprise, you will be getting everything that you need for an aerial survey. For example, it has a built-in camera, which is very powerful, with, which has a 4 third inch CMOS with 20 megapixel resolution, which is quite powerful for this size of a drone. And also, it has all the obstacle sensing vision sensors, which can save your drone from crashing or hitting to anything. And also, this drone has a built-in PSDK Port, which means you can plug in an RTK or else if you're looking to plug in something like a spotlight speaker you can do it with this PSDK port and also this camera is also very capable it has a mechanical shutter which is capable of capturing a one photo within 0.7 seconds just imagine how efficient it is like you can uh, cover up to two square kilometers in one flight. This drone, an uh, upgraded version of the Mavic 3 series. So this Enterprise series drone comes with DJI Pilot 2, which means you have a capability of doing 2D missions, 3D missions, or linear missions. For uh, my uh, experience, this drone is quite good for a beginner. Or if you are new to aerial survey, this is the drone. And also, if you are looking for something like a affordable and cost-effective and a good uh, quality camera for your area survey, this drone is for you. Because within this uh, performance of this drone, like 40 minutes flight time, sorry, 45 minutes flight time, a good high resolution camera, you can do wonders. Like this is good for like aerial surveying of like land surveying applications and aerial surveying of small areas with less complex environments because this doesn't have any IP ratings. And if you are looking for something like to uh, operate in heavy uh, hazardous environments in higher temperatures or very cold temperatures, I will show what's best for you. So I'm going to show you the DJI's portable powerhouse Matrix 30 drone. This Matrix 30 drone also have two products. One is Matrix 30 E and Matrix 30 T. In Matrix series, as you can see, it's quite similar to Mavic uh, frame and also it looks like an M300. This is like a drone uh, in between Mavic 3 series and M300. Like M300 and Mavic had a baby. So this drone, as you can see, it's uh, quite larger than the Mavic. It looks like same. It has dual RTK antennas inbuilt, which means you don't need additional payload like Mavic 3 Enterprise. And also it has a built-in camera. So it is like ready to use. Whenever you need it to operate, you can simply take it out and you know unfold it and do your operations. And also the best part is it's compatible with DJI Do, which means this is really good for regular operations. Let's say if you want your aerial mapping scheduled every once in a month, every once a week, likewise, this is the best product because if you are using DJI Dock, you can simply uh, schedule your regular operations and use it for regular applications. Like if you want to monitor construction site, if you want to monitor the progress, you can simply uh, give the, you can schedule your 
it, uh, serving mission planning and then continue to operate likewise and it gives you the capability of operating the drone from anywhere from the world so if you are operating in a very hazardous environment this would be the best solution for you and for aerial surveying also yes this is a good solution for regular aerial surveying operations because everything can be automated with DJI Do. so next I will introduce the big boy the Matrix 350 RTK in Matrix 350 RTK capabilities are endless because there are plenty of payload options that you can try with Matrix 300 RTK if you are doing a serious level area serving operation you should go for M350 RTK and also you have uh, from DJI you have P1 for photogrammetry serving and LiDAR for LiDAR serving you have two options L1 and L2 so these both are LiDAR solutions with integrated with RGB camera which means you are, will be able to get colorized point cloud normally a normal LiDAR sensor mostly doesn't have this uh, camera which can give you a colorized point cloud which means you can identify the object whether it's a building or a tree or whatever it is and the point cloud will be textured based on the RGB camera uh, color and also with the P1 sensor you can achieve higher resolution image from greater heights like from 150 meters you can get uh, like a GSD with between 2 cm something like that just imagine it will revolutionize your surveying game forever and also all these drones are compatible with DJI Terra and DJI Modify the nearest product from DJI so the uh, DJI M350 RTK comes with 55 minutes of flight time which means at a single flight you can cover a large area because you have 55 minutes and also it can carry up to 2.7 kilograms payload which means you can either try single payload variation or dual payload variation at the same time from DJI they have introduced variety of payload configurations for area survey when, when it comes to uh, the, uh, photogrammetry they have introduced Zenmuse P1 which comes with three main lenses so it, the on default it comes with 35 millimeter lens if you want to upgrade you can go for 50 millimeter lens which you can give a higher resolution image from higher altitudes and also if you want to lower you can you have an option for 24 millimeter lens as well so all these three lenses depends on your requirement so it gives various accuracy so you better uh, choose for what best for your requirement and also it has two uh, lidar sensors from dji zenmuse l1 and the new zenmuse l2 both both these two lidar sensors are really good really reliable and very affordable compared to the other lidar solutions in the market and also there are like wide range of payloads for surveying which is comp compatible for m350 rtk and you can try them all and there are like a lot of applications that you can install to dji rc plus okay now let's talk about what is the best drone solution for you among these three so if you are looking to do something serious like a bigger bigger drone surveying project i think you should go for m350 rtk obviously because it has a wide range of payload options that you can choose according to your requirement and also it has a greater flight time and also it has a very good IP rating IP55 and comes with all three transmissions even though you are uh, flying in a very you know hazardous environment with a lot of terrains and trees it will give you a good stable connection and you have a 20 kilometer range which can give you a good area coverage and also everything comes with a price i know m350 is quite expensive but if you research about the 
things that are available in the current market and 350 RTK gives you a good good features according to their price and you know other factors so if you are looking to do something like a mid-range like a smaller compared to the uh, things that you are planning to do with an M300 RTK uh, but still the environment is not so good and you know it's highly windy can be rain days can be you know very higher or colder temperatures I think you better go for M300 sorry M30 drone solution because you can uh, the best part is you can operate it in a hazardous environment and also it is compatible with DJ Dog, which means you can automate your every operation every operation so M30 allows you to uh, schedule your operations and execute your operation from a remote place so you don't want to worry about who sending someone to the project site and also operating the drone from site you can do it from anywhere in the world and if you are still a beginner if you are looking something and your budgets are limited you are looking something cost effective and you know affordable and a very good drone Mavic 3 Enterprise as I said is the best solution yet in the market for aerial survey so which one suits for your requirement let us know in the comment so if you have any questions choosing the what the right drone solutions for your aerial survey requirement please let us know in the comments or reach us through sales at rccorner.com for more information or more inquiries so if you haven't subscribed us yet please subscribe we will see you in the next video but goodbye for now